Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into your July week by week check-in where we're going to have a look at every week and see what's going on with you. So let's get started. Before I begin, let me clear the space of any previous readings that I have done here. Clear the space of any previous readings, any previous energy that have been around on the table. I call in your energy to please come in and your spirit guides to come in please and guide us during the course of this reading. We're going to get four cards out here. It's literally going to start from Thursday, um, which will be the first of July up into the next week Wednesday and then we're going to unfold them week by week like that so let's see what cards will will okay come in here for you guys by the way guys if you do okay these cards are getting my attention if you do want to have a personal reading with me they are still open until Wednesday um, if you do book during this time and they are on discount um, they will pass over until July still on that discount prices as well check there is a link in the description box below of this video let's see what's going on with you guys cancer first week we are looking at the first to the seventh of July what's up well, somebody is being very focused. You've got a queen of voices coming up, which is a queen of swords energy. I kind of feel like it's you. That's a card of extreme focus. It's a card of making plans for the future. I love the queen of voices energy. Um, it's a card of making plans for the future. It's a card of thinking about what you want and then taking action and steps to get there. Nice. I like that. I really, really do like that. Eh? Um, let's have a look and see what else comes in here. It's got to do with relationships, okay? So you got a nice energy, a nice combination coming through here. You got the Queen of Swords and you got a King of Cups energy. So I do feel like there is a person around you. Um, I feel like this person has shown you that they love you. And this is nice, Cancer. Um, you're making plans with, this, with regards to this person for the future. You like going, okay, there's this person. I need to start making plans. This could be it. This could be the one. So let's have a look and see what spirit guides. Let's shuffle these cards nicely. Let's see what your spirit guides are going to have to say with regards to what is going on here. What a nice match. King and queen. Different, but but nice. The love is there. Let's have a look. And you've got a king of queen of pentacles that is rocked up here. This is a strong connection. It's going to go quite far. you got the stability. The stability has been shown to you with this person's behavior. And that is why you got this, this energy of wanting to make long-term plans the queen of pentacles is a stable energy it indicates even the home and the relationship as well as being grounded i like this a lot let's have a look wow into your second week which is the 8th to the 14th of july four of materials in the reverse position a little bit of fear i feel like attached to the future i feel like um you may be more worried about what you've seen in your past because the four of pentacles in the reverse position can literally indicate fears that we carry inside ourselves that things will not work out and it's usually not what we're seeing from around us it's usually happening with regards to what we've seen from the past so i want to see what we'll ask what else yeah this is kind of like you get a bit insecure into the second week here the five of swords indicates a bit of um conflict that can possibly come in now <laughs> if you guys do have some kind of disagreement in the second week, it will bring up a whole bunch of stuff inside of you. And spirit guides, as I'm saying that, it's like it can make you want to run away, you know, because you're so scared that you're seeing a repeat of what has happened to you in your life happening again. This is more of an internal vibe coming through here. I kind of feel it because of the four of pentacles being in the reverse position. It indicates it's happening more on an emotional level inside of you. And understand something. When you get into a relationship, just get used to the five of swords and the five of wands coming in. They're always going to be something that happens something that occurs something that in a relationship that that's going to be these kind of energies and if there is love and dedication from both people it can always be worked through speak to anybody who's been with somebody for 10 years or even longer 20 years like you got an older family member and they'll tell you oh yeah oh yeah because look what's coming up here this is nice three of pentacles in the reverse position it it's not it can be about you making those plans i'm just saying because three of pentacles talks about stability that you're planning to like even getting married and this the conflict that can come in here can be the other one going we need to wait a little bit longer because the three of pentacles says yes that stability is coming in 
that time where you will like sign on the dotted line. It's coming in, but it's just going to be longer than what you think it is. Because it's not happening now, it can make you feel like it's never going to happen. But it's nice to see, see the Three of Pentacles come up there because it does talk about the stability is coming. It is just going to be a little bit later than what you think it is. A little bit longer. You need to be patient, you see. Let's have a look into your third week, 15th to the 21st of July. Ace of Materials, there's definitely a delay here with regards to some kind of stability, with regards to get us to a stable place. There is some kind of delays. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse position. Yes, you guys are moving forward with each other. There seems to be some kind of timing that is out here with the Ace of Pentacles. There is something going on here that is causing that conflict with regards to us being moving in together, with regards to us getting engaged, getting married, um, announcing our love to the world. It's almost like somebody's going, whoa, you know, we need to wait. There's something I'm dealing with, A, B, and C kind of vibe. But let's see what else comes up here. Yeah, this is going to cause you to get a bit heartbroken. I feel like, especially because the Queen of Swords came up in the upright position. Remember, these roles can be reversed as well because it is a gen your reading what can even happen here is that it can be you going okay we need you to slow it down a little bit and somebody else is going to get a little bit hurt because of this i told you the fives all love to be in relationships you know the five of swords the five of cups the five of wands it is normal when we get into a relationship if it is without conflict I even think it's not normal. It's not normal not to have conflict in a relationship. It's always going to be there. There is delays here that you're not going to like. So let's have a look and see. And don't worry. You got your three of pentacles. You got your six of pentacles. Do not worry, guys. Things are going to be balanced still. Things are going to be a fair give and take. Things are going to still be okay with the six of pentacles come in there that's a balanced energy it's giving and receiving it's um somebody doing what is right towards you delays are coming but somebody is intending to do what is right oh yes you got a star card very very nice it will come true your dreams will come true with this person this is very nice oh man Goodness me, that is the Aquarius energy as well. Your dreams will come to you. This person does want to be with you. Um, they do see you as being perfect for them. Let's see what other card will come up here. Let's have a look. Guys, keep the communication going. This is beautiful energy. Keep this communication going. That's the main important vibe that I'm picking up on here. Um, I feel like they're going to kind of like it's going to feel better in that last week from the 22nd until the 28th right up until the Saturday until the 31st I feel like it's going to be feeling much better for you um it's like they do communicate with you with regards to something I feel like it's where you start to see them really opening up to you and revealing to you that they do actually want to have that stability listen to them hear what they've got to say it's going to be news that makes you very happy with the star card being there it's like maybe give them a, ch a chance as well they might be clearing up some things in their own brain and there it begins yay you ace of wands end of the month a little bit of a rough a good from the beginning and then a little bit awkward in the middle and then you've got this very nice new beginning yeah ace of wands energy new vitality and um, new beginnings new start oh, i love it so much very nice energy let's get through some angel tarot coming up here let's see what the angels have will advise you with regards to the month of july and what is unfolding what has been what do they see and what do they want to tell you let's have a look and see got this card let's see what's this oh my this is gonna come to an end they're very happy for you and the six of air Ooh, whoa okay they won't they are not warning you they're telling you that this awkward kind of situation that you kind of like meet up in the middle of the month it's gonna shift away it's gonna move away you are gonna go through it and it's going to uh, come to an end which is nice um the desire to move on yeah you're not going to want to stay in this awkward place the search for something more meaningful which is the six of pentacles you want that meaningful thing which is the three of pentacles that stable relationship and it talks about spiritual and emo emotional growth i do think these phases that you go through in relationships um it is about the spiritual and emotional growth the kind of like the glitches that we get 
on the road of the relationship. It's something that we need to keep on working through. And as we keep on working through it, another one will come. Don't don't think it's all smooth sailing. Um, when one problem goes, there's always another one because we are meant to overcome everything that comes towards us. And as we overcome it, we become stronger human beings. We become more spiritually grown and emotionally we get onto a higher level as well. So every time you move past something, you move to a good place. It's like you've passed the test kind of vibe. You've got a beautiful air, energy coming in here. You see six of air, literally. You are definitely moving past this time. This is the six of swords energy. So without a doubt, this difficult, awkward time in the middle of the month is going to be left behind. Listen to this. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. And it can even be taking a trip. Maybe a person's going to be like, let's go. Ace of Wands. Let's go away with each other. Come see, meet my parents. You know what I mean? But this is the ending of stress that has that does pop up a little bit in the month. And definitely moving into to a place that is nice the star card stress free thank you so much for watching guys if you do enjoy the reading please hit, the, hit that thumbs up button it's very good for my channel as well it helps me so thank you so much for watching bye